One, two. Buckle my shoe. Three, four. Shut the door. Five, six. Pick up sticks. Seven, eight. Lay them straight. Nine, ten. Do it again. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Three, four. Shut the door. Five, six. Pick up sticks. Seven, eight. Lay them straight. Nine, ten. Do it again. Welcome to Mrs. Ankrum's Music Room. That poem is a great one to do when you're starting to think about skip counting by two. Why? Because every other number, every number when you're counting by twos actually gets a rhyme. So one, two, buckle my shoe. Two and shoe rhyme. Three, four, so we've got two. Now four, shut the door. Four and door rhyme. So why don't you think about that? Well, let's say it one more time and think which numbers have a rhyming word that follows them, okay? Here, and I'll count it actually with my hands this time to make it really clear. Ready, go. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, do it again. Did you notice that? How there was a rhyme with every other number. Now, here is a great poem that I actually add some movement to in my music class, and it's simply counting by twos. It's called two, four, six, eight. Let's keep a steady beat right here. Ready, and two, four, six, eight. Meet me at the garden gate. If I'm late, don't wait. Two, four, six, eight. Now that first line, two, four, six, eight. How many times did we tap during that? Let's say it in our head without talking. Say it with our thinking voice, okay? Let's see how many times do we tap. One, two, just that line. How many taps? Let's check it. Let's speak it out loud and we'll see. Did we have four taps? Let's see. One, two, ready, and two. Oh, I'll get, I'll tap here and count here. Let's try it that way. Ready, go. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Yep. One, two, three, four. Four taps with that line. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go forward four counts and then we'll go back four counts and we'll do the whole poem moving forward and backward. All right, let's try it. One, put the beat in your feet. Two, ready, go. Two, four, six, eight. Meet me at the garden gate. If I'm late, don't wait. Two, four, six, eight. Very good. Now, if you have someone to do this with you at home, what's really fun is when you walk, let's say Sparkles and I were doing it together, as you go towards someone, when you get to them, you high five, all right? So Sparkles and I are gonna try to do it, all right, ready? Okay, here we go. Two, four, six, eight. Meet me at the garden gate. If I'm late, don't wait. Two, four, six, eight. So that's a fun way to do that rhyme and to get up and do some movement and do something interesting with your family as well. Okay, our last poem that helps us skip count by twos actually has us counting backwards. And we're gonna start at 10. 
All right? So get your 10 candles out. One. 10 little candles on a chocolate cake. Whoo, whoo. And then there were eight. Eight little candles on candlesticks. Whoo, whoo. And then there were six. Four, six little candles and not one more. And then there were four. Four little candles, a red, white, and blue. Whoo, whoo. And then there were two. Two little candles standing in the sun. Whoo, whoo. And then there were none. Now what's the number? for none or nothing. Zero, right? Let's try that one more time. Get your 10 candles out. Here we go. 10 little candles on a chocolate cake. Whoo, whoo. And then there were eight. Eight little candles on candlesticks. Whoo, whoo. And then there were six. Six little candles and not one more. Whoo, whoo. And then there were four. Four little candles, red, white, and blue. Whoo, whoo. Then there were two. Two little candles standing in the sun. Whoo, whoo. And then there were none. Well, thank you so much for skip counting with me today. I hope that was good practice for you guys. And I also hope you learned some chants that you can do for fun at home all on your own. Thanks for stopping by and go have fun making music.